Today, Precarious Plays... Deus Ex, Mankind Divided. Now, if I were a chump, I would try to go in the front door, mm -hmm. but I'm not. So I'm going to see if I can find another way in. So what... I didn't read the description. Where are we headed? Who are we talking to? We're trying to stop a drug that is harming Og, uh, augmented people specifically. Mm -hmm. Is it that like inhaler stuff? Yes. Here, let me bring up the quest text. Hmm. Mm. There are things worth learning about any new street drug, especially one that's getting as popular as Neon. What is it exactly? Who controls it? How does it affect the people around me? I've heard enough to know that it's flooding the streets of Prague, drowning its addicts in color, but the only way to find out everything I can about Neon to ultimately do what's right is to keep digging. Mm -hmm. And evidently, the apartment just like two floors down from where Jensen lives is where yeah. it's coming from. I keep meaning to, to try to actually do the Jensen voice, but it's really hard. It's yeah. really rough on the voice. I've made some notes though. Are those are those the ones? Uh-huh. Those are the ones. Yeah, so the the thing that's most difficult for me is that um I usually have better results if I do what I call about like a fifty percent mumble mouth. Mm-hmm. Where he, it sounds like Adam's voice actor keeps his lips pretty closed when he speaks. And I, I, it's just not what springs to mind, you know? Yeah, his voice and his oh. manner of speaking is just really outside of my range. Mm -hmm. in ev Like in every possible <laughs> every way. Every axis. Yeah, it's like I can't... I can't get him regionally. I can't do the vowels the way he do. I can't get that low. I can't talk with the right rhythm. I'm just like, no, we're going to skip this one. And we're like, oh, I'm Adam Jensen. This is what I sound like. Oh, my God. Oh, I never asked you this. I never asked for anything. Maybe I should ask for help sometime. Maybe it wouldn't be such a sorry state if we could learn to help and ask for help. <laughs> That's what Adam Jensen sounds like. Like, <laughs> that. That's what I'm stuck with. I'm stuck with cartoon. Cartoon jokes. Ooh. Jensen. It's throwable though. Hennekin. <laughs> I'm loving all of these fake brands. Mm hmm. These fake real brands. It's it's Heineken, but it's not. Also, I think that might be a regionally appropriate beverage, too. If I'm not mistaken. Although, I'm pretty sure Heineken is fairly popular in lots of places, so who knows? Adam, that is very much not what I wanted you to do there. Yeah, this kind of goes back to the whole... Really? <sighs> It won't let me knock him out. It won't? No. You just need to get seen? Well, let's try. It's about time. What is going on? In yet another augmented terror attack. What is this interaction we're having? Walk away before I decide to kill you. Now it's okay? I don't understand what just happened. Uh, oh! Almost missed one. What? Did Any, didn't anybody even, else? It didn't even show up on the radar. Weird. Is it because they weren't moving at all, or did I just miss it? I don't know. Any information for me, friend? Oh, boy. You know, frankly, that is a pretty exciting looking drug. It blows. Ah, but that's probably just to make a match the name, you know? 
Uh, yeah, that's how packaging works. What are you <laughs> talking just, about? It's just well branded, okay? Yeah, that's what I was saying. Whoa, look at those. Oh, uh, man, if only this apartment were still nice. That's kind of nice. <laughs> Looks like somebody kept it past its date. You think so? Uh, yeah, because it's the back. Right. How far? Ah, uh, it's too blurry. Oh, you but that... I know they did that on purpose. That kind of looks like two zeros in the middle. Mm-hmm. I hope that that's like a 2006 cat calendar. <laughs> <laughs> um, dang, dang, dang. What, what, what were we talking about? Um, we were talking about the moral dilemma of being able to ah. choose between recycling your um recycling your spoils of war or feeding them into the black market right and i mean whenever you say it like that the answer becomes pretty obvious because usually what i what i want Unless I'm using it to like buy Praxis, mm -hmm. really what I want, it's biocells. Biocells and multi tools. And it's like two out of three of the things that I want, the, other, the third one being stun gun darts. You can get them from here, right? So maybe only sell a couple of things. Well, I'm thinking that once I, once I can, uh, unlock this in a stable way mm -hmm. whenever it doesn't increase like my core temp I think I'm just going to get this and start feeding everything into it you should because you know goodness <laughs> <laughs> I keep hearing rumors that something is wrong someone's dealing neon behind our backs do you think it could be Ivan I never trusted this guy I changed the password to our computer just in case the password is now Dobra Dobra not that's what it looks like. Nobra dot cobra. Hmm. You want me to do something about Ivan? Just give the word. Wait, pull that up again. Oh boy, I didn't know we were gonna go like four menus deep. I got it. It's here. Connor. Connor bod. I was trying to puzzle out like neon nope, something, nope. but there's no. I got nothing. Okay, yeah. sorry for the. Just wanted to read it backwards. God. Uh, oh, that's one interesting I discovered between sessions. Google Translate handles uh, the signs in this game pretty well. Oh. Like well, there, that makes sense. There was the sign um, in uh, at like that. Uh, that fake like guard post, yeah. that checkpoint. Mm -hmm. It said, um, I think unauthorized entry prohibited, mm. which is yeah, of course, of course that's what it says. Hear more of the most popular washing machines in Prague. Maybe there's like a a deal for tenants, you know? Yeah, you know there was a weird thing that I hadn't considered. Mm -hmm. And I don't know how these things work in the big, in the big cities. Yeah. But you know how if you need something, well, you know what? This paradigm isn't even true anymore, but I'm going to tell the story anyways. So you know how if you need something, you find it on the internet and you order it. Okay. Going back one step before that time, you know how you need something and then you go to something like a department store, which is like this huge expanse of commerce and or, or a mall, you know, you go to a big place that has many things in it and then you find the thing that you're looking for, hopefully, and then you get it. And this is the non-grocery stuff, like you need a cable or you need a flower pot or something like that. You know, the big box stores like Kmart, 
which I believe is in the midst of going extinct, or Sears, or, you know, those types of places where you can find a little bit of everything there. Mm -hmm. In big cities, I don't know where they put their big stores. So, like... I don't think they have big stores. Exactly. So there are, like, discrete stores for every type of thing. So, like, somebody is just, like, chairs. Like, somebody has a store that's just chairs. And you have to know the store for chairs, but then you also have to know the store for mattresses, and the store for vegetables, and the store for dry goods. And it's like... This came up because... I was in Spain and we were trying to furnish an apartment. Well, we, I wasn't that involved. I was witnessing a family member trying to furnish an apartment, but the family member was also like had grown up in America and they were like also trying to figure out where is the big box store? How do we get a mattress? Like, we're on... I mean, it's an enormous city, and m most of the people in it are sleeping on a bed. Where do the mattresses come from? <laughs> you know? Am I... Am I... What am I missing? I don't know. We got all the drugs. You knocked both of them out. You robbed them. Probably stole their sandwich, too. Adam will do... A sign. What does it say? If you want more, follow the rainbow. Oh. oh. Was that what I was supposed to figure out? Maybe that is what I was supposed to. I don't know. That seems sort of sketchy, you know? What do they mean by follow the rainbow? I think I know is there what they a rainbow mean. rainbow nearby? I mean, I think that there's. There's an area that has a rainbow. It's just... So do you see the, the little yellow icon that it's pointing me towards? Yeah. I think... Can you lift that bookshelf? No, because it would give me... I've got the highlighter turned on, so it would uh, give it a white outline. Mm-hmm. But it was very comical, and those washing machines make me think that, like, the washing machine place in town, or the small, the the mid-size appliance place in town, has exactly those washers. That's it. <laughs> you know? See, it just says... There's supposed to be something here, and it's the blue icon, which makes me think that... What am I missing? What am I not... Okay, so if I... That must just be unrelated. That must just be directing me to, like, the next main story mission. Yeah, because and it, it looks like it's a floor down, doesn't it? Yeah. So you're here, you found the pile, you found the people. You found the beverages. You turned off the TV. I think we're done here. But I, I... It didn't advance the quest. I think it's supposed to point me in the direction of... Where I go to meaningfully influence this. <clears throat> because I, I feel like those wrappers are a little too small for that to be... Be just like an organic clue that I'm actually supposed to well, maybe the detect, you know? Maybe the fact that you weren't going to knock out that person right away, maybe that was a conversation you should have had. Can you wake him up? You know what? Can yeah. you save and wake him up? Yeah, what I'm going to do is uh, between sessions, I'll go back in time and I'll try to see if I can like talk to that person. Mm -hmm. Maybe I was a little too hasty with uh, with the punches. I mean, it feels like we live in in this reality that. Oh, oh, 
Or maybe it's this. Could be this. Dobranok. Oh, guys. This is much less charming with a gamepad. There you go. Hey, boo. I think I got a lead on whoever's distributing behind our backs. Okay. 202 at 33. Lovely. Havni. Lovely. Okay. The sister. Neon Knights. We've never delivered to this place. Wherever they get their shit from, it's not from us. I am officially making my request. Six crates of neon to be left in my storage locker. You know the one. Rumor has it that the numbers you're pulling don't reflect the amount of neon on the streets. People say you're either skimming off the top or giving product away for free. Okay. I think that that is actually what I came here for. Mm-hmm. Is it? Was it? Was it, is it? Oh, thank God. <laughs> okay. Whew. Yeah, see, you know, it's pointing me on outside. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. So see, I was allowed to punch all of those people in the head. It's really, I, I you know what? I kind of think must have happened. I think whenever I jumped down and all of the. Oh my gosh. And then all of the, yeah, you know, mm -hmm. I think that that may have happened. Maybe, maybe that's what happened. Uh, well, time to destroy the evidence. No. <laughs> and besides, it's probably an induction cooktop. This is oh, a rental. Oh, man. You're welcome. Ruining all my fun. I mean, the appliance store only has one kind now, of if I, cooktop. Now, if I recall correctly, I think that... All of our quests are now pointing us toward the other half of town. Mm -hmm. I'll check between episodes, but I think the next time we play, it's just going to be us getting to... Oh, boy. It's going to be us standing in line for a bit and then taking a subway. That sounds nice. It's not. It's really not. We could watch a purposefully uncomfortable cutscene for fun, though.